Now many a time when you, you hear people mention the Qur'an, many people think it's a book of do's and don'ts. Halal, haram, you can do this, you can't do that. It's a book of directives. This is only one aspect of the Qur'an. The, the Qur'an itself is far richer than just restricting it to being just a book of do's and don'ts. Within this Qur'an, it describes the Lord of the universe. Who would you rather find out about, you know, in this culture where we want to find out the smallest details than find out about the nature of God, his loving nature, his powerful nature, his majesty, his glory and his might. It's, it's, it's that beautiful text in that regard and something I think that is, is transformational if one lives with it and if one internalizes it. So when you think about God Almighty, what comes into your mind? Is it a visual picture from something from the creation? Well, the Quran tells us very, very clearly that there is nothing like unto God Almighty. There is no example that we can give to God Almighty. This doesn't mean that God, in the eyes of, of any Muslim, that is something unknown to us. Because when you go through the Quran, you find he has the most beautiful names and the most beautiful of attributes. Everyone praises and glorifies God to some extent, but to hear the words of the Almighty teaching us how to praise Him in a way that befits His Majesty according to His terms instead of ours, that is what really shakes me and brings people to tears out of awe and glorification. So when you read this Qur'an, it is a message that goes into your heart and it brings about this want to worship God Almighty because this is the one who created me, this is the one who sustains me, this is the one who ultimately will enter me into the paradise eternally. And you read the verses when God Almighty is talking to you and from his signs and from his signs and from his signs. Will you not pay attention? Will you not ponder over the meanings that God has given to you? This is one of the most beautiful things that you find within the Quran that God Almighty is talking directly to you. This Quran is a sign for you. This is a reminder for you to recognize who you are, your purpose and why you are here.